Helene has become a category two hurricane. It's intensified rapidly from just a tropical storm this time yesterday. That rapid intensification, which is when it undergoes uh, intensifying wind speeds of more than 35 miles per hour in a 24 hour period, are in part fueled by the warm temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. Our water temperatures through the Atlantic, through the Gulf of Mexico are unusually warm right now in the mid to upper 80s and that warm water really acts as fuel for these tropical systems. What Helene is now going to start encountering though is a little bit more wind shear. These areas with the light blue, that's where we start to see some weak wind shear, but still wind shear nonetheless. What does the wind shear do, you might ask? Well, it kind of knocks these tropical systems off their center. Normal hurricane wind flow has winds going around the eye and then up and out the top of the center of circulation. They kind of work as machines. So when you get wind shear, which is winds changing, either wind speed or wind direction as you go up in the atmosphere. It disrupts the natural cycle, the natural wind flow of these tropical systems and really prohibits too much additional strengthening. So that wind shear will help to hopefully slow down a little bit of that intensification as it nears the coast. But this will still have major impacts across Florida and yes, here into North Georgia. So today we're anticipating at times very heavy rainfall. Your flood risk starts to get higher as we go into this afternoon and evening and then overnight tonight. We're also monitoring that potential for high winds as well as some storms that could become strong or severe and even produce brief spin up tornadoes that will linger into Friday morning and then we slowly start to clear out throughout the day on Friday.